everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video on the things that I've hit pan on because usually when you hit pan on something or when you finish something that means it was a fairly good product and they're things that I enjoyed using throughout its lifetime. So the first one I'm going to go through with powders, the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and this is finished as you can see. So I've actually finished three or two of these and I finished them completely just because it's an awesome powder, it makes you absolutely flawless, and I haven't stopped talking about how wonderful this product is. I have not repurchased it because I will show you another thing that I've hit pan on that's a lot cheaper and sort of a really good substitute for the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, the MAC Blot Powder. I have finished three of these. As you can see, I finished it really down to the pan. There's like really nothing left that you can use. This is a great powder if you're looking for something to mattify your face throughout the day when you're out and about and you just feels really oily. I don't particularly like using blot papers because I don't know, I feel like they take off makeup while I blot my makeup. These do a great job so I always have one of these in my makeup pouch. Currently is this one and this is already hit pan on. I finished this one completely. So I have a couple of those. They're really useful for back to MAC where you can exchange like six or seven products for MAC lipstick or MAC eyeshadow or MAC lip gloss. Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. This uh, is actually, I should actually use this for my drugstore sort of video, but unfortunately I need to do that later and I don't want to do it now. I've hit pan on this. This one is a really good powder to set your foundation with, whether it be mineral or liquid foundation. It's a really good foundation setter. It doesn't give you too much coverage. It's very light coverage, but it does the job pretty well. Plus, it's a drugstore product, so it's very affordable. In terms of foundation, I have finished two foundations. This is the Elizabeth Arden Pure Finish Mineral Makeup. As you can see, I have finished three of these, and I am on my third one, and I have two right here that are empty. Show you exactly how empty. When they're empty, you can see the pan. As you can see, there's some mineral makeup falling out. But yeah, they're totally empty. I really like this foundation for days where you don't want too much coverage, where you're just kind of going out to go shopping or things like that, and you don't want you know, full makeup sort of thing. This is great to whip on. It gives you a really nice look if you don't need too much concealer at all. And I really like it. So it controls oil well and stays throughout the day. Make It Forever HD Foundation. It's totally empty. It looks like it's not empty, but it is empty. It's very hard to squeeze out any left. I really enjoyed using this when I had a lot of acne scars or a lot of acne blemishes back in the day when I did have acne breakouts because it really did a good job covering everything and it, it just gives you a really flawless look, especially if you're going for a night out or a party because it doesn't have SPF in it, so it's really good in pictures as well as the night out. So a concealer that I finished is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer, so I've hit pan on this. I haven't really finished it, but as you can see, I've hit pan. This is my favorite concealer, all-time favorite concealer. I've yet to do a review on it. It does everything I want it to do. It stays on, it covers really well, it's easy to apply, and it's just an on-the-go concealer as well. I really like how small and compact it is, and it does a really, really good job. I use it every single day, and I will never stop using it. I have another concealer somewhere here in my collection, and it's ready and waiting for me when this one finishes. Talking about bronzers, a bronzer that I finished is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. There's a little bit left, but it's all pretty much pan, plus a few chunks of Laguna here and there. But this is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. All-time favorite bronzer. It's really good because it gives you a really, you know, contour cheek without looking too dark. And it's just the right shade of brown, so you don't look orange or spotty or anything like that. Always have loved the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Would I repurchase it? It's very pricey in Australia. It's $72, so I don't think so. NARS Orgasm Blush. And you can see there is the pan right there. And this is just the best blush if you're looking for something that is easy to put on. You don't have to think. It'll always give you that glow. Always give you that beautiful flushed cheeks. Then Orgasm is definitely the blush for you. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people like it. I am a fan of it because... It really does give me a glow and it lifts my cheeks up and it just makes a face, so I really like it. In terms of eye products, I have three. The first one is the MAC Prep and Prime Light. And this is just a lid base, a lid concealer, and it matches the rest of your eyes with your face. Sometimes it doesn't match because your skin's more sensitive in your eyelid area and sometimes it's more red. So using this as a canvas, I use it every single day. Whenever I'm doing an eye look, I have to use it in conjunction with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I love this one so much. I will repurchase it once it's totally finished, but I've yet to use the sides. Two things that I have finished in terms of eyeliners is 
the technical liner from MAC. This is in graph black. Totally done. I can't I can't twist anymore out. And this is all time basically my favorite eyeliner because it doesn't really do smudging. It's great for your waterline tight line and you don't have to sharpen it, so it's great as well. It's very, very black and I really like it. The next one is the Urban K 24-7 liner in zero. And this is actually my second one. This is the travel size one from the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette. The full size one I finished totally, so this is basically my second Urban Decay 24-7 liner. Love this one because it's very soft, very easy to blend if you're looking for smudgeable liners. Even walking throughout the day, it's very hard to come off as well, so it stays on for a long time and it's great for an everyday liner when you're looking for a waterline or tightline eyeliner. In terms of skincare, the only thing I've hit pan on is the Oxy Acne Wash. I always throw each tube after, but I've used about three or four of these, probably four of these. This is probably my, my fifth. Oxy Acne Wash. I can't live without this. I need this and I have really bad acne blemishes. It saves the day for me and I love it. And you can only get it in Singapore, I think, because I haven't found it here in Australia. The moisturizer that I've definitely hit pan on, there is none left, is the Biotherm Aquasaurus Bond Stop Gel. This is really pricey, but it's really good moisturizer because it sort of gives you, it really moisturizes, intensively moisturizes your skin and I don't know how to describe it. It's great for really dry spots as well and it's just the best sort of gel sort of texture that's really, really smooth and it's just very, very refreshing when you put it on. And last but not least, I have two perfumes that I have finished. I have three perfumes, the third one, four. I finished four perfumes and the, the two perfumes that I don't have with me, I've thrown away the bottle, so yeah, I don't have it with me, but this is the Chloe Yudi Parfum, and beautiful, beautiful scent. It's always such a signature scent. It's very clean, very sophisticated, and I don't know really how to describe it. It's very, very unique, so when you walk around, you're wearing Chloe, you immediately know that that person's wearing Chloe, so very good, very expensive as well. I've also hit pan on the Halloween Kiss, and this is by J. Delzo. It smells floral yet like subtly, very subtle, very, it's a very graceful scent and I really like it. So or, apparently I think there's orchids in there as well, but you can get this at Zuzo, which is at Melbourne Central if you're in Melbourne. I don't know, I've never seen it anywhere else. It's called Halloween Kiss by J. Del Pozo. And then two perfumes that I have don't have with me right now, but I've hit pan on are Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume all-time favorite. I haven't repurchased it because it's pricey and I have a lot of other perfumes. I, even the YSL, this is new by the way, it's the YSL Parisian. Another perfume that I've also hit pan on is the Anna Sui. I love Anna Sui perfumes, they're great. Anna Sui Secret Wish and that's the blue one with the fairy on top. And then I also have, also, I've also finished the Anna Sui Flight of Fancy which is the Peacock the orange one with the peacock on it, it's beautiful, that's a beautiful scent. So those are the perfumes that you should check out because apparently I have used all of it and it's very hard for me to use all of the perfume because that means that I must have really, really liked it. So yeah, that's a, those are the things currently that I've hit pan on. I can't really think of anything else that I've hit pan on. Oh yeah, one more thing was the Everyday Minerals Foundations. Finish that. Totally finish that. I think that's it. I haven't finished any lip products because I don't use them commonly. I hope you like this video. I am actually going to do a haul right now. I know it's going to extend, but I went shopping today because I want my mid-semester break. And I went to Kit Cosmetics. They have basically the cutest nail polishes ever. I like how they wrap everything. It comes in this little package. Let's see what colors I got. So right now, currently in Australia, it is spring, which is why I have China Glaze Refresh Mint on. But I have Free Fall, which is a beautiful purple sort of, it's purplish whitish color and it's great for spring. It's very, it's a light lilac color with hints of lilac in it. Really pretty. And another one I got was the Fly Away, which I'm going to wear today. I'm going to, after this video, I'm going to take on my nail polish and wear this because it's absolutely beautiful. It's just the most graceful pink pastel color ever, so which is also great for spring. It's called Fly Away. The person was also nice enough to give me Smashbox's Limitless Eyeliner Sample. Thank you, person. That'd be fun to use, because I do need an eyeliner. I'm running out of the Urban Decay. Let's open this. Oh. It's a really hot day today. I really like it. So sunny. Okay, so this is the eyeliner. It's the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner. 
Very cool. Thank you so much, whoever gave that to me. And then I sort of like explored the city today by myself because I really like doing that. I just go out and explore the city and like look at all the buildings. So I go through all these little small shops and arcades because Melbourne has a lot of those. And I chanced upon this place that was selling China Glaze, which is not available in Melbourne. But it's this place called Hair to Go and they were selling the China Glaze nail polishes for $10 each. So I got one. This is China Glaze in something sweet which is also really nice. This is like the pink version of refreshment which I have on my nails and I think it'll be really great for spring. So I have all these pastel colors that I will be using during the spring. Really like that. Last thing that I got from these like little shops were two necklaces and they're absolutely amazingly pretty because I've always wanted a necklace like this. Okay, so they're both gold and I'm really happy that I got these. They were only like 20 bucks. Each. And there's a lot of vintage shops in Melbourne, like a lot of shops like that. And this is so pretty. Look how pretty this is. This is just like a bird and it's, it's a sparrow flying. And basically it would go on like that. And yeah, it's really pretty. I want I want sort of a shorter necklace with, that sort of expands like that. So I was really happy to find it. Plus it's gold, which I really like as well. One of my favorite colors, actually, a black and gold combination is actually one of my favorites. And then I had this leaf, which I really like as well. So it's a gold leaf. I really like leaves. And this one goes on pretty easily. I don't remember the name of the shop, but I like my leaf. But as you can see, the leaf would be like that, which is really, really nice. It's going to take me a while to put it on, so I'm not going to waste your time. So those are the things that I've hit pan on and a little haul, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Bye, guys.